Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, on this one, I'm going to do a follow-up on my Asus router, the new one that I just put in, RT-AX89X. Now, this is the one that is probably about three to four times faster than the Asus router I had in there previously. It has four times the memory, it has uh, twice the cores, and several other features that my old one doesn't support. The biggest thing was the 10 gig connections, two of them. And one I've decided to connect up from the router itself to my core switch. That though I waited till today, almost a day later to do, and it's working fine. The second one I haven't decided yet. That may get connected to my new server, my new application server. And for that one, I would use fiber. So that'll be an experience. It'll be my first fiber connection between a computer and my network. Worked fine. And the only difficulty I ran into was I was hoping that by using the same Wi-Fi password for all of the connections to this router, it wouldn't necessitate my changing anything to the, all the devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi. Well, unfortunately, I was wrong about that. Even though it's also an Asus router and the menus look almost exactly the same, although this router has many more new features to it, it did not recognize them. And about halfway through redefining all of my wireless connections, basically re-entering the same password, pretty complex password, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty important that uh, I keep it that way. I had originally considered on changing it, but I didn't think I would have to for now. It really wasn't due to be changed anytime soon. That's the only challenge I ran into, but other than that, it seems to be working. I mean, as an example, even that uh, Elgato light strip that's back there, well, that little controller is connected to the Wi-Fi, and I had to reset the password on that as well. And in order to do that, I had to do the full reset on the device, as I showed when I did the review of that device. Otherwise, I could not control it from the Elgato Stream Deck, which would be a real problem. And that's the whole reason that uh, that device was acquired in the first place. But it's all straight now. It works fine. I can go ahead and change colors on it and so forth, as you can see, without any problem. With that, uh, let me start showing you what I did. And at the end of the video, I'll show you this thing working. Here is my existing ASUS router in place in a central location within my home. And as you can see, I have it wired through the back of a shelf, through a duct, and connected up to a special outlet. Two connections for the internet, one for the router and one for the actual switch it connects to, and also a UPS power connection. Let me first disconnect the power cable from the UPS plug underneath the second shelf. And the power is now completely off. Now I need to disconnect the cables from it. First I'll start with the power cable. Then the LAN cable. And finally the wide area network cable. Now because of the shape of the power connector I had to push the two network cables through that little hole first and then followed it up with the power cable. And I'll have to do the reverse to get it back in again. So now I've pushed a power cable from the new router up through it first, and then I'm gonna follow that up with the two cables from the network as well. Okay, so now I'll start by pushing the network cables through. I believe this first one is the LAN cable. Push it through the hole, and pull it through from the top and make sure it's all the way out. Now I'll pull in the second one, which I believe is the WAN. Push that up through. A little tighter. With, and then pull it out through the top. So we have all three up at this point. Okay, now I got the new router up on the shelf. I just had to pull it over and start connecting the cables. The blue one on the left is the WAN connector. So that's one gig. And I'll connect that one up first. And then the second one, the one with the metal bracket to it, is the 10 gig connector, which I'm going to be using for my local area network. So I'm putting that one in second. And then connecting the power cable to its appropriate port over on the right-hand side there. Well done. Okay, let me plug in the new router down in the UPS plug below. 
And let me go up there and see if I can power it on and see what happens. Well, I see a light. Let me speed ahead. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, it's all done. All the lights are on and the internet looks like it is up. And here's my old router, my Asus AC3200. It served me well, but time to go. And here's a quick look at my existing 8 port 10 gig switch. Port 6 is where the new router is connected. Okay, my router has been up for about a day and a half now. So let me go in and show you some of the screens on it. This is my live one, so I'll be blurring out a few screens and or information on those screens. So let me log in. Okay, so here's the main entrance screen. Uh, obviously, I'll blur out some of the details from my two wireless connections that uh, I really don't want the world to know. Right now, I have a list of 21 devices that are connected one way or another. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see here the various devices that are on my network are showing here at this point. Let me look at something else, the fan tuning. And unfortunately this doesn't show until you've sat here and watched it for a few minutes. So I'll zoom ahead so you can see what it looks like. Okay, four minutes is pretty good. As you can see here, it looks like since that line there is a 60 degree centigrade mark, I guess the thing is running at about 40 degrees centigrade and the fan speed is probably just over the 1750 mark, probably about 1850 at this point, maybe closer to 1775 or 1800. So it handles it pretty good and you can adjust the fan curve on this screen. Let me go ahead and take a look at the network map again, but a different section of it. And here is the status on the right hand side. And in that status, you can see that my four cores, how they're being utilized as we go. You can see the load being charted here for the four cores. You see the RAM, this has one gig. So I'm using just about half of it, 50%, right? Actually it says 50% and it's right on the 50% line. And the only two ports that I'm using on my new router is the WAN port, the one marked WAN, one gigabit per second is what its connection is, and the 10G, which is connected over to my core switch. And then here on the traffic analyzer, you see some traffic that took place over the last 24 hours. As you can see, dinner time tonight wasn't so busy from seven to eight, nobody was really using it, but it's pretty evenly distributed amongst various pieces of equipment that are running within my environment here. Also under adaptive QoS, I could actually check the network speed. Now I did check this, I think yesterday, so I will go ahead and try it again. It's now testing my network speed up to my ISP. First download, then upload. It's pretty decent. That's actually more than I'm paying for, so I can't complain about that. My service provider has been pretty good about that, however. So that really concludes what I wanted to show here in this video. You got a chance to see how I uh, initially set things up, and now you see it in a running mode. So it's a pretty good router so far, and it should last me a couple, three years until I decide to go to more of a commercial-based firewall and router configuration. Until the next time, take care.